I love pikas and everybody loves pikas. The Conservation Research Center provides the science in Teton Science Schools. It allows us to provide rigorous data that can inform conservation and land management decisions in the valley. I call this collaboration between the, the Conservation Research Center at the Science School, 1% for the Tetons, nature mapping, the awesome threesome. They put their, all their resources together. We gain a, lo a lot of new knowledge about pikas where they exist, it really hasn't ever been documented before. Citizen scientists and nature mappers, if you will, make observations during the course of their excursions into the, into the wild. Within the first year, I think there were over 700 separate observations of pikas, which would have been uh, cost prohibitive for them to have found those sites through just strictly a research program. It gives me distribution information, numbers of pikas that have been seen, that provides important information to me that I can readily access. The people that live here, one of their great values is the love of wildlife in our landscape. They can go out and collect data as citizen science, incorporate it into a research project, so we all know and learn more about the environment and pikas. Hi there, my name's Robert Ricks. I'm a mapping pika for nature mapping in Jackson Hole. I really find the best way to observe pika is to become a pika. People love pikas. I love pikas. I really love pikas. It's an easy species to like. People love, if they could catch them, they'd hug them. What fun! Well, the program's really important because we're undergoing climate changes across the world. Pika are a real sensitive species, maybe kind of the canary in the, in the mine sort of thing, and they'll be the, probably the first affected, so it's important to document where their occupied habitat is now and then see how that changes over time. They regulate their temperature by either coming out and warming up in the sun on top of rocks or cooling down by retreating to the interstitial spaces in these talus slopes. Temperatures of 80 degrees plus can be fatal to pikas if they're exposed for over six hours. While foraging, pikas also have to be extremely vigilant because their major cause of death is in old age, it's actually predation from a whole suite of species. Once you've heard a pika call, it's really distinguishable. You may be hearing it in the background from some of my friends. Meep! A big thanks to 1% for the Tetons. Without it, as a cooperating partner, uh, financially, uh, programs and projects such as this one simply wouldn't happen. People love pikas. Hey brah, sick bike. You gonna go crush Candyland? I really love pikas now. Me. We love pikas. I love pikas. <laughs> Does this look like a costume to you?